my 15, 20 years working in this business, I've gone to a lot of remote places. And North America still throws up places which can challenge even someone like me who's experienced a lot of this type of habitat. And we did a shoot in Death Valley, which is one of the hottest places in the world. Um, in the middle of Death Valley, it's 200 meters below sea level. So we're trying to film coyotes. It may be 105 degrees or 110 degrees, you're out there in the midday sun, but so were the coyotes, and they've got a full fur coat on them. So, you know, you don't really feel like you should be complaining. And these animals are, you know, having to find, you know, tiny little pieces of food in this vast, open and very bleak environment. Working in wildlife films means you have to sort of keep going through any obstacle. Whatever obstacle is thrown at you, you just have to keep going through it because you never know when the success is going to come. You need to be patient. So if you're with an animal all the time, you often see new things. And we film them eating caterpillars. The coyotes were just going around hosing these things down. You would think a coyote is quite a large dog, and there was nothing much else around, so it was making use of all its resources. The incredibly adaptable animal. And we asked at the National Park, we asked the, the biologist at the National Park about this, and she'd never heard of it, never seen it. And it's one of those features of, of wildlife filming is where wildlife cameramen are often in a position to tell scientists that have been studying a particular animal for years and years and years something new about its behavior. You know, think you know North America, think again. It's a bit of a cliche, but really, this continent really has so many surprises.